Hey Libra, how are you doing today? Thanks for uh, clicking on your love reading here at Boy of the Rose. Um, I don't typically do um, specific readings like this, but I was literally just called by Spirit to do a love reading for Libra. So I'm going to give this a shot, see how it goes. The lighting just got really wonky. See if it's better off. Yeah, no, it didn't change anything. I have the hat on because I'm bald, okay? I live in Colorado thin atmosphere, I'd protect that bald dome of mine. Um, but yeah, the lighting just got real weird, so please bear with me. Let's see how it goes. All right, Libra, we're going to take a look at the energies of love that are around you right now. Well, whether you're in a connection already or whether you're looking for new love, we're just going to see what messages come up and work with them as we get them. Spirit, what do we have for overall theme for the love life of Libra. Six of Swords, you're moving on to calmer waters. Okay, so that's indicating to me that there has been a ending of some kind or there was conflict in a situation and you're looking to get past the conflict and let go of the three swords that hurt and moving on to calmer waters, they say. What can we say about the Six of Swords energy? Spirit, what's this What's this about? Where's this coming from for Libra? Because of a decision that was made. Okay. Still, this is very thought-based. This is not very emotion-based. These are, it's all swords, two of swords. There was a decision to be made. And Libra, you said, I'm going to exit stage left and go to calmer waters and focus on yourself and your own stability. Pretty good move, Libra. I like it. You just made the choice to focus on yourself. Okay. Well, this is supposed to be a love reading, but, you know, that works. You know, moving away from a situation can also open up new situations. Spirit, what's coming towards our Libras through this week in the Department of Love and Romance? Eros, Spirit. I'm talking about Eros. Five of Swords. <laughs> so whoever this conflict was, you may want to um, you know, block that number or make sure they can't reach out for a bit. Because the Five of Swords looks to me like this person is going to come back around and look to uh, win at all costs. What more can we say about this Five of Swords energy spirit? Who is this? With an Empress. So this could be, this is a Libra card. Or it could be a Taurus, um, someone embodying that goddess energy, that creating the world that they desire type energy. Okay, well, this could be talking about you, Libra, or maybe Cross Watcher. That could be the Libra is going to be coming back at you with the hammer. Five swords. Ah. Okay, what more can we say about the energies that are around Libra this time, Spirit? And the star, healing. So there is healing available for you in this situation, for both of you. There is the energy of healing available. If we can stay out of the conflict energy and nurture each other. That doesn't necessarily mean getting back together. You can be nurturing without being, you know, hey, let's work things out. It can be, hey, it didn't work and here's why. And just being honest about the why it didn't work. Spirit, what's the potential challenges here for Libra through this situation? Something new in the physical challenges an ace of pentacles, an offering of something new, a new beginning. And that would be a relationship, is how I'm viewing that. What else can we say, Spirit, about this challenge energy for the Libras through this energy? Friendship, three of cups. Friends may be involved in this situation. Spirit, what about the friendship that's an issue here? Or a potential conflict. What about friendship that's a problem for Libra? 
seven of pentacles, what was invested? Looking at what was invested. Hmm, looking at your return of investment with these friends, a friendship situation. Hmm. Interesting. A few ways that energy could be working out. Spirit, what's your advice do you have for our Libras for getting through this and making the most out of this? Do some more research, Libra. Page of Swords. Look into the situation more closely. Um, information is needed at this time. What other advice do you have for our Libra Collective Spirit? Six of Cups. Um, Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia, of reminiscing about the past. It's also a card of pleasure. Um, good vibes. Maybe get together with old friends and focus on feeling good in the moment. You know, reminiscing, just being present with maybe an old friend. You'll, you'll know how that falls for you. How that plays. Spirit, any other advice here for our Libra Collective? Any, any other advice, Spirit? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Um, walk away from whatever the painful situation was. Walk away from that. Put space, put distance. Time will heal whatever the wounds you experienced from that were. And it will help you clear up these energies. You know, focusing on yourself right now, focusing on your own stability, that's key. That'll definitely um, pay dividends for you in the future. Ah, well, I'm sorry, Libra. This was not what I was expecting out of a love reading for you. Um, I usually see Libra as a very romantic um, yeah, romantic sign. You know, not like you know, for an air sign. Not like a Scorpio's passionate romance or Pisces dreaminess. You know, or any of the fire signs, fiery passionate signs. But Libra is a you know, your uh, major arcana card is the Empress. So I always view Libra as very beautiful. So. Yeah, Libra, that's what I have for you. Um, if this brand, if this mu, uh, ba 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 ba, uh, if this reading resonated and these messages were useful for you, please leave a comment down below. Click like. If you're new to the channel, you want more readings like this, click subscribe. Um, it's a quick reading, I'm not going super in depth. I'm almost feeling called to just, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not ending it here. Just forget that whole nonsense. Spirit, <clears throat> I'm sorry. I want some dirt here. You got to spill the tea, Spirit. I'm going to sip the tea, then we're going to spill some tea. Spirit, um, we're going to switch to the Thoth Tarot for this. Spirit, tell me about this person this energy that Libra was engaged with, that Libra was interacting with, that's created this whole scenario. Hmm. Okay, who is this Five of Swords energy spirit that Libra's moving away from? Who is this Five of Swords energy? The Magician, the Magus, this could be a Gemini. I don't know why people say it's a card of Gemini. Um, anyone can be the magician. Anyone can be manifesting the reality that they want. Okay, so someone was manifesting something here. What were they manifesting? Spirit, what was this manifestation? Ace of Cups. They were looking for a new emotional beginning. Um, okay. May have... Uh, 
Okay, I, I'm not seeing any player cards out here, but I'm starting to get player energy, player vibes. Libra, you may have been dealing with a player. Um, Spirit, what can you tell me about this uh, star energy that's around the Libras right now? This healing energy. Okay. Nine of Wands. It's a very independent, it's an individuation card. It's, in the Thothero, it's called Strength. Um, and it's about standing in your power and your strength, and you're able to do your own fighting. It's, I consider it to be the John Wick card, you know? John Wick doesn't call in for backup. He doesn't ask for help. He just goes and takes care of the problem. That's Nine of Wands energy. Okay. So it's that healing that's available for you. It's for you to heal yourself. That's what's around you there. Okay, that makes a little more sense. So if that doesn't resonate for you, then this isn't your story, and that's fine. These, I don't, I very rarely do uh, romantic readings anyway, but I was called to do it. So I'm guessing there's a Libra out there right now who has recently dealt with something like this. Um, well, Libra, I'm sorry to, that you had to deal with an unsavory character that, you know, you probably thought, wow, this person's really great. And then you're like, wow, what happened to the really great person I was dealing with? Who are you? I know what that's like. I've been there myself. Ah, Libra. Well, I'm sending you so much love. If you want a private reading with me where we can look more in depth into the situation for you, hit me up on Instagram. My handle there is Iron Rose Alchemist. I'll pin it in the description box. Okay. But I think this is where I'm going to wrap this reading up. I don't want to go too much more into it. Libra, from my heart to yours, I'm sending you love and I'm sending you peace. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Take care.